Hello, my name is Christophe de Dinochin, and today I would like to talk to you about release 0.4.8 of DB48X, which is my attempt at re-implementing RPL on Swiss Micros calculators like the DM42, which you have on the left here, and the DM32, which you have on the right. So the project is open source, it's on GitHub. It's called DM DB48X on DM42. And the objective is to reconstruct the RPL programming language, which was found, for instance, on the HP48S and SX series of calculators, uh, which it, with its uh, rich set of data types, etc. So we are going to see how this works. The first thing we need to do, so we, we have a stock uh, set of machines here, and we want to make sure that, so these machines are from this website, swissmicros.com, and there are technical pages where you can download the firmware files. This is important because this is the way to um, restore your calculator to its earlier state. So for instance, what you see here is the DM32 firmware, and you have the same page for the DM42. So the firmware consists in a part named a .bin file, um, and that, that's called a QSPI file, and a PGM file, that is the program for the calculator itself. So we are going to see uh, how to use these programs very quickly, very shortly. But for the moment, what is important is that you need to have a download of these for your calculator. And so we are going to see the installation procedure, um, for instance, on the uh, DM32. I hit the yellow shift and the on key that brings me this setup system. And uh, there I can click on three for system, then to enter system menu, and then reset to DMCP menu, that's four. And I'm going to do an activate USB disk. Oops, back. Activate USB disk. So when this is done, the calculator transforms itself into a small um, disk server, a USB disk that you can see here. So you have the possibility to load files in there. And that's where you are going to put your, uh, the, the, the file that you downloaded, for instance, if you download the QSPI file for the DM32, it's going to reinitial, reinitialize itself and reset to the DM32 state. Now, what we are going to do instead is to use downloads from the DB48X website, and we are going to use our own firmware. So on the right, you have this release tab, you go there, and you have a list of releases, and the latest is 048. And um, it describes what it does. And at the bottom, you have a list of assets. And we have to download either the TGZ file that has everything, or you can download the MD file, which is the help in markdown format, and the PGM file, which is the program for the calculator, and the QSPI content the dot bin file which is the firmware and you need to do that for the calculator that you own so db48x is for the gm42 and db50x is for the gm32 as i mentioned uh, the gm32 is actually more recent uh, it's a slightly improved calculator from a hardware point of view it has usb-c for instance and that means that it's also slightly faster and has more memory. So DB50X at some point is going to have more features on the DM32. 
and for the moment we still have feature parity between the two so when i have downloaded my my files i can then copy the files in my uh, calculator simply as I would copy any file and uh, when this is done so this takes a little bit of time because the, the calculator is not a very fast disk so you have this uh, PG5 program for the DM32 and it's called PGM for the DM42. So in the meantime, I'm going to do the same procedure on the uh, DM42 where I already loaded the file. So I'm going to go to uh, five system to enter system menu or reset to DMCP menu and then load program three. And I'm going to load DB40LX. And I'm going to flash my firmware here. Once the firmware is flashed, you press any key to start. And I need to load the QSPI from FAT, which normally requires battery and I don't have it. So let me skip that step. Since I preloaded things, it's okay. And then you will do load program. I'm going to show that on the DM32. And I have my DB48X software loaded there. Let me do the same thing on the other side. Um, so now the calculator has exited the USB disk mode for some reason. I return there. So this sometimes happens to me where the firmware disconnects for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why. So it looks like the the files were connected, so now I can eject my disk. And there I'm going to go to load QSPI from FAT. So normally um, you are in the systems menu, load QSPI from FAT. It loads the db50x qspi.bin. So while it's loading the firmware for the DM32, uh, let me show you the quick start guide, uh, which is part of the online help for the DB40LX project. And we are going to follow these steps. So we were following, for instance, here, the part about downloading the software. Uh, so connecting the calculator to a computer, we did that with a USB cable there and we saw how to expose the storage as USB disk and how to copy files there. So, once we have flashed the firmware like this, we need to run it. So I'm going to return to system, enter system menu, uh where is it uh, reset to the mcp menu for and then load program and i load my db 50x 50x.pg5 
wrong one. For some reason, the speed for f uh, flash writing is much faster on the VM32. And now I'm ready to run my new software. And I have my RPL on the, the other side as well. So uh, this works exactly the same on both machines. Um, but you can see that the uh, machine on the right has a keyboard overlay. It's very hard to use DB48X on a DM32 because the keyboard is not matching at all. Uh, there are some missing key uh, labels for the keys here that um, I have an old version of the overlay. Uh, there is a new one that fixes that. And you see that there are uh, stickers also for the the keys here because they don't match. The most annoying thing is that uh, the letters don't match between the 42 and the 32. Uh, the 32 has an M here and then it's N etc. So all the letters are off by one. So that's why it's really necessary to have an overlay on the 32 whereas on the 42 you can practically use it without an overlay uh, because the keyboard is relatively mnemonic. Now, um, the simulator on the right here shows you the actual expected layout of the DB48 uh, project. So the DM, uh, if there is a one day DM48, it would look something like that. And you see that many of the uh, keys are lined up with the keys on the 42 more than they are lined up with the key on the 32. Notably, that's true for the shift. So complex, for instance, is here. On a 32, it would be down here. So we are going to use a simulator to see a number of things um, that are easier to see on the screen because it's slightly larger. But otherwise, it, it behaves exactly the same. The benefit of using the simulator also is that when I type keys, you see what I'm typing because it's highlighted in yellow. 